Okay, so I want to get into the idea of, of databases and get, get, them, get you into them as quickly as possible. And I think the best way to do this is to look at something that you're more likely to be familiar with than a database, and that's Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel consists of spreadsheets. It's a spreadsheet application. Well, what's a spreadsheet? A spreadsheet's really a table, right? It's a table, and what does a table have? A table has rows and columns. Those are the fundamental concepts of Excel. They're also the fundamental concepts of databases. Databases also have tables, rows, and columns. The big difference between the way you work with tables, rows, and columns in Excel versus the way you work with tables, rows, and columns in databases is really one of scale, it's not of type. So in Excel, you generally have a table, right? You open up Excel, and even though they give you different, you know, you can have different worksheets in Excel, usually you're just working with one, and if you are working with more than one, there's not a whole lot of relationship between the first and the second one. And if you try to make a lot of relationships between the first spreadsheet and the second spreadsheet, you get into trouble. That's where it gets complex. So most people don't do that. Most people try to keep it to one spreadsheet, and for that it works really well. And how does that spreadsheet work exactly? Well, we have a table, right? We figure everything in that table is all of a certain sort. So let's, you know, what do we have here? We have um, a person. So each row of this table is a different person, right? So the table itself, the spreadsheet itself, is a person. And uh, it's all information about people. Each row is a different person. Each column is a different piece of information about that person. Now, in a moment, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna merge this with the concepts we had before, that idea of information types and, uh, and um, attributes and values and all that, right? And all that kind of stuff. It's going to get there. But let's take it a little slow. So start from Excel and realize that the three basic concepts in Excel are the table, the row, and the column. The table is a kind of information, the row is one item of that information, and each column is one attribute of that information. It's one quality. And in the column, in the intersection of a row and column, you type in a value. Right? That's how Excel works. And then we can do calculations and charts and all that kind of stuff. That's how Excel works. 